Everyone ready? Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to do, we're going to revise those two takedowns that we did a couple of weeks ago uh, in the groundwork, and then we're going to do some live groundwork to finish with. Alright? So just a little reminder, then we'll go to the first one. What we were working on was just on the usual thing of hand on the back of the triceps for the grip, want that arm pinned off and underneath, so if it drops an arm, goes into the groin or whatever, we can feel it, we're going to stop it. Back of, the, back of the neck from there, again, to control of the head so we know where it is, and my elbow pushing into the, the front of his shoulder. So if he tries to whack me with the back hand from there, I think I can jam his shoulder and he can't get an effective shot. So this, this is the grip that I ideally want for, for what we've been, been practicing, all right? What I'm going to do with this hand, I'm going to slide up to the top of his hair. If his hair was on, I could grab him by the hair and go from there as well, right? But for the sake of practice, just on the back of there. Push the head down, and then drop straight on to under your armpit so you wait on it. As you've done that, you'll decide to push that one through, reach through with his hand, and grab the back of the arm for there to tie it up. Right? So that's the kind of the, the, the first kind of initial exchange of grip looking for. So from there to here to here is what we want to. Depending on where that leg is, depends on what we're going to take down we're going to do next. Right? So if we work on the fact that it's, it's here at the moment, we'll go for the one that we did. So I'm simply going to step up and grab it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Nearly went there. And so we'll check on the other side. So hand goes down, feet through here, push that through, grab the arm, so it's Step to the top leg and I'm going to bounce him around the corner. So once I lift him up, I just take him over. Right, go down with him. And you see how I've still got this grip on there on the back of the arm. Eh? As I lean my body onto it, I turn him around with uh, his neck. So I'm there. This, I've got to be careful this, I'm not hurting him. Slide the arm under his head to there. So his arm's still trapped underneath my armpit. And then from there, I've got a nice position to carry on the ground. Eh? So it's a fighting technique for this rather than uh, self defense technique because you don't want to end up on the ground with it. Right? So it's there. To here, step in the catch of leg, move around, drop from the heat to here, slide an arm out, pinning his arm underneath your arm, and then from there, ready to turn on with the ground fight. Does everyone remember that one from the first one? Does everyone remember that one? Yeah. <laughs> got a tip, tip, tip again. So, um, we're at right, version two, right? So, if, if he steps back with that one, I mean, my thing from here as well is a couple of good things about this. When you're fighting with boxing gloves on, you can still do this. You can't do it with a lot of the grips that you need for other throws and takedowns, but you can do this one. Because, you know, I've done it, you just hook your hand through it from there and you've got it. You know what I mean? You, so when you spark the bottom gloves on, you can still get away with these takedowns. Uh, one of the things I like doing is whacking that leg as well. So sort of leg just because you can't really, you know, it's just, so you've got this option here. Um, it's also quite good, you know, so if he was to step back, I don't want this leg here, I want it out of the way. So, and that's of course a natural reaction you're going to get, it's going to move it away. Well, this creates is this space. So what I'm, I'll just do dead slow to start with, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ear on the back of his, uh, his tricep. If I don't get that right, when I roll, he's going to roll right across my face, alright? So I don't want that, so I want to get down to here. So you see when my ear's chucked in, if I'm there in turn, he's going to roll over my head. Right? So I want, I want to be here. What I then do is I just start looking underneath. So I keep the grip as I am, I want to pop up the other hand if I want to, and I roll over there, so I should roll So Tim ends up there, alright? At this point here, I need to keep this arm where it is. So as I move around, I've got to be careful not to knock it down. Right? Keep it locked from there and step over. Right? So I'm going over in that direction there. As I do that, keep that underneath your arm like again as before. Right? And then go through the back of the same position as that arm trapped underneath. Right? So we just do that on the other side again. So same initial start. The line, crack, got it. <laughs> <laughs> not fast enough. Uh, what's done that? I drop my knees and go. This is from there to here. Continue moving around, keep that tucked in, move that arm underneath, lock it in here. And so again, I've got the arm tied off and I'm ready to work again. Is everyone okay with version 2? And which one you do just depends on where his leg is or where you put it by eating it. Okay? I've got the key thing when you've got that head low, so it doesn't go along your face, you can use the other hand to control it as well. So just, just remember to do that. So push that arm through to there, which you're, you're all getting quite nicely. As a drop, remember, don't have your head here because when you do, you'll roll over the top of it and it's never pleasant to so you get your head tucked around it. There's no point about an arm flapping around that. You know, so as you, as you drop, see how I'm kind of putting the, the use it to keep both arms in. So that just makes it a lot tighter. So I'll show you that from the side. Uh, there's that last little bit too. So when we've got that to there, uh, drop that and set back. In that, with both hands at that point. Right, which will help break it when you do the takedown. Get your ear in the back of his arm and then you roll underneath. Now keep that hold up where it is. Okay? Don't knock it down his body, keep that tight, and when you roll, don't roll so that your body knocks that in, go over the top of it. Okay, so I'm doing that, I'm rolling over my shoulders, I'm holding that way. And you see I'm still pulling that, so it's on that side of my body. Once I've got that, I can then release, and it gets pinned up underneath my arm. Then I can start working and do whatever else I'm doing from there. It's horrible for him, because his arms are pinned across his body. 
Okay, we can go back to the pounding drill we did earlier. Everyone okay with that? Okay, so with those two points, I'm going to have a proper graph, right? 